<laughs> hey guys, this is Mead session number one with my buddy Mark. Mark, you want to turn around and see yourself? Hey, there's. Hey. hey. <laughs> Mark showed me a really cool video the other day about how, how to make mead. And of course we play Dungeons and Dragons, so we need something to fill up our mugs with, our, our horns. How to make mead out of just three, is it three or four simple ingredients? It's spring water, honey, some raisins, some yeast, and some balloons. <laughs> so we're at it today, day one. We're gonna, we're gonna chronicle the event and see how it turns out. All right, so I just grabbed some 87 cent spring water at Publix, and I also grabbed some raisins from Publix. The great thing about the way we're going to try to do it today, the way, the way I'm going to try to do it, uh, is that I don't want to have to like sanitize anything. I'm going to do everything inside of the brand new stuff. You'll see that I, half of this is empty. I poured half of it out at home. Uh, I actually saved it and put it into my zero water pitcher. Now I have room to put stuff back and forth, so... Uh, there's Mark getting his horn. He's got a horn too. Roll Tide. Roll tide. <laughs> um, so we're over here. We're warming up our our um, <laughs> yeast. He's warming up the yeast. Mark's the um, Mark's the nerd of the two. He's he's all he's all into being specific, but I am not. Um, so we're gonna see how it works for both of us. Warming up our honey, and we're just gonna pour it right into the gallon jugs, and we're gonna throw some raisins in there to give. Uh, the yeast some more num nums because they like to eat raisins and they like to eat honey and they're gonna give us mead. Okay, so we've got our honey. It's been soaking in hot water for about 15 minutes. The reason you do that is so that it is easier to pour. I got two pounds, eight ounces, so about two and a half pounds of honey. From what I understand, what I read, that should make a semi-sweet mead. Uh, not too dry, not too sweet, hopefully. And without you're supposed to not try to get any honey on the outside and I'm getting it all over. So I'm sucking real bad so far. <laughs> yeah. So this is going to be a lot of honey. In a... Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we got ourselves a little. This is a this is a tool we're making mead called a push pin, <laughs> and we made holes. I hope somewhere in here, little holes. I'll know soon enough if there's holes in there or not. It just fills up. So, what happens for the un un unknowing of this is you got some really live microbes in there, the yeast, and they they love sugar, and they eat it and they poop alcohol. And so that's what's happening. And, and CO2 is the byproduct. Is that right? Somehow they create carbon dioxide mm -hmm. and it'll start to, works. yeah, <laughs> it'll start to bubble up and then it'll start to fill up. And so this is to let that air out, but not let other air in. Pretty cool solution. And we're going to keep track of how this goes. In about two weeks, we're going to have to empty this out. You'll see a bunch of dead, uh, dead debris on the bottom. It'd be dead, dead yeast guys that ate themselves to death. And uh, we'll put all this in something else for a month, and she'll be able to drink it. I'm glad I didn't know how easy this was as a teenager. 